I'm going to show you how to make a simple plunger squirt gun as a way to start talking about uh, suction pumps. I'm going to start with a piece of PVC pipe uh, end cap. This has got a small hole that I've drilled in there, about a sixteenth. And I'm going to use a piece of PVC pipe and just place them together like that. This becomes the uh, part of the plunger. Uh, here's the plunger part and uh, all I've done here is taken a couple of pieces of foam that you can buy uh, which is simple uh, kind of foam that you can find in a craft store and cut about three pieces round and as you can see it's gotten a little worn I put a little screw at the end and the little screw goes down through the dowel uh, this worn uh, foam then forms the seal for which you put inside our tubing I put a little uh, piece of foam at the end so that if students push in and they touch their hand to the PVC they won't pinch themselves. So all we have here is a simple pump um, and this uh, is a suction then that we create and you can see that if I pull it back you can hear that noise and then, then squirt it out. Now this is an outside kind of a thing because you can make a big mess squirting water but the main idea is to get the plunger notion of the suction in the pipe so that students can understand that we're creating a vacuum so that the water replaces the vacuum. The next step for this is, once they've understood the plunger, is to uh, get them to understand how check valves work and how a plunger pump would work. What I've done here, and this is just a very simple uh, way of making a check valve, it's got an end cap again. This time I put a hole in there. It's about a quarter inch hole. And uh, on the other side I put a piece of foam and glued one end of it. So I cut a little piece of this foam, uh, made it to fit just in the end cap there. So that if you test it, if you apply suction in one direction, the air will come through this hole and allow it to flap up. And if you push the other direction, if I push air this way, the flap goes down and will press against this hole and form a check so that you can only produce a flow really in one direction. So we use that at the end of our pump and this will go in the water so that when we plunger out it'll take the water out but when we plunger back it won't go the other direction. So to make the other check valve because we'll want to push water out the other direction I've taken the same end cap only this time I put the uh, foam on the outside edge and you can see how the flap would form. You can test this by blowing out and the, and the air will go out. If you suck in the flap will come in and close. So the simple plunger valve is assembled as follows. We take our plunger and attach two pieces of PVC pipe so that we have our PVC pipe in a T. Here is our exit line right here where the water will come out. Here's where the water goes in. And if you put it in the water, you'll be able to see as I put the plunger. 